these these videos are just going straight down the drain. One trend I've noticed, I just noticed it, is the first word that I start with, sometimes I say it twice. <laughs> uh, sometimes I say words twice, don't worry about it. Uh, so, yesterday I did say I wanted to talk about thumbnails, and it's like, there are so many little things I can talk about, I guess, kind of? I don't know, I can make a story out of it, it's just not an interesting story, it's just relevant-ish. So, uh, there was a period where uh, we weren't having any thumbnails at all. There were, there were no thumbnails. Maybe one day I'll go, I'll go and fill those in. Uh, but there weren't any thumbnails for like 20 days or something like that. That was when Dave had to stop. Just, I don't know what happened, but he just couldn't. Um, he was just way too busy to keep doing anything. Uh, that's also why Kumo was st Kumo stopped and then started again when Mike took over and then Mike is now busy so Mike isn't doing it but I'm doing thumbnails now I took over for thumbnails uh, um, well me me and Jess uh, she does the art portion and if you've noticed like <laughs> the 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 overall style of the girls, uh, and like the the pictures or whatever it's very much her because uh, she just chooses random ones and she cuts them out for me and then I and then I uh, edit I edit all the things so she does the the girls for me she cuts out the girls uh, which is the thing Dave used to do Dave used to do all of it but now she she does the cutting of the girls and then I do the putting together the proper images um but you can really notice she does it a lot better than he did <laughs> he got a little lazy around the uh around the end and you would like you'd see borders around the around the uh edges of the pictures and he did that because it made his mistakes look not as bad uh <laughs> so yeah but but jess is very good at it and i very much appreciate her doing that um but it's just like I see a little bit of her every time, like she sends me one, and I'm like, "Yep, <laughs> that's that's one of the ones that she chose," because uh, she's cho choosing all of them. I I don't have any influence in that. Uh, but before, like like if you pay enough attention, there there is a weird difference between the ones that Dave chose and the ones that Jess is choosing now. Jess goes a lot more for the cute cute ones. Uh, and she's also very smart about what will look good on the thumbnail and like what, you know, what would look good with the background cut out. Uh, Dave was just like, she's pretty. And then he chose like really ambitious ones that just like were really hard to make it look good. Um, but Jess is actually smart and knows about design a little bit, I guess. Uh, so they all look good. They all look fantastic, and like, I don't think there's there's ever anything where it's like cut off on the right side. On the left side, there'll there'll be like uh like it'll it'll cut off, but you know I'll just put that flesh with the side, flush flush. <laughs> I said flesh, put that flesh with the side, and then it looks good. And then she's very smart. Uh, so that's all good. That's all great. That's you know all sorted out. Um, but. <laughs> Now I have to do the the numbers cuz um like I'm not I'm not going to ask her to do all that too. Uh <laughs> So she she sends me the girls every Wednesday or so. I usually remind her on Tuesday so that she just has all day whenever she's whenever she's free um to whip one together and then send one to me. Uh and line is really good about uh, maintaining the quality of pictures so uh, just everything looks fine um, and of course it uh, retains transparency as well if I was still using kick that would not be the case uh, kick does not retain transparency over images which is dumb and annoying uh, but yeah so so I get the pictures and then I have to edit them and what I've been doing is actually picking a color well the first time I did it uh I think I picked I just I just picked a color from the sky you know I was just like let's make it like a light blue and I put a gradient on there cuz it was a thing that I could do and it was easy and I was like okay let's make it look pretty uh so I so now they all have a gradient 
uh, and uh, the the first time I just picked a random one, and then the next few times I've been picking a color that was prevalent in the in the thumbnail girl uh, somewhere in her color scheme uh, that worked well and like wasn't obnoxious, you know. Uh, so I think right now it's like purple because she's got this like purple book. Uh, in her hand, and I think there's... I, I I pulled it straight out of the purple. Um, straight out of the book, sorry. Uh, so that's that's where that comes from. But you may have noticed, like, the, the gradient is actually a little off this time. Because the ones I made for this episode and the next ones... And I know I could just go fix them, but I don't really care that much. It's not that important. What I've been... What I, what I did in the past was always put the gradient so that the color... It would be white on the left and the color would be on the right. Uh, but I was actually editing the, the thumbnails for the past few videos um, yesterday. <laughs> so... If you noticed a few days ago when there weren't any thumbnails, and one thing I, I decided to do, just because, like, Wednesday, uh, when I actually remembered to get around to doing it, uh, it was, like, crazy fucking late, so I was just like, alright, I gotta slap one together for this episode, uh, and then, like, that'll be it. And I think I just did two. Or, I, or I, was gonna, I was gonna do all of them, and then I did two, and I was like, I'm really fucking tired, I'm probably gonna make a mistake. So I'm just going to stop, and I'm just going to leave these two. I'm going to upload the one, of course, uh, and then the next one I had done. And then when it came for the third day, when I needed a thumbnail, I was... I just, like, that whole day, uh, I, I was, like, really busy. Never got around to it. Uh, and then... Uh, so that that thumb that video didn't get a thumbnail. And one thing one thing I'm doing now is actually sort of like how it was in the past is I won't monetize the video if I don't put a thumbnail on it. It's just as a good reminder, like I gotta put a thumbnail on it. You know, I can't I can't give up on that. It it, it makes it look nice. Um, so I won't monetize the video if it doesn't have a thumbnail. And that's like it how it was in the past because I didn't use to monetize the videos. I used to. Or Dave used to do that. I'd upload them, and then Dave would turn on monetization when he's putting the, the thumbnail and everything uh, for the videos. Uh, but now I have to do all of that because uh, it's just nobody else is doing it. Um, I mean, most YouTubers do it by themselves anyway. It's just harder when the only thing you're working on is a phone. Uh, it's, you know, it's become like a sort of ritual kind of thing because... Now, uh, it, it's not my home page, but if I just, like, if I go to, to Google Chrome, uh, I think, like, it'll just have my, uh, my channel page as one of the, one of the, uh, like, recent things always there, pretty much. Um, and then I go to that, and then I have to switch it to, uh... Well, well, not not for the thumbnail actually. For the thumbnail, I can do I can do the thumbnail from, uh, from. What am I talking about? From Creator Studio app. But I'm what I'm talking about now is the the daily process of putting in the description, which I can also do from the Creator Studio app. The only reason I go to uh, Google Chrome is so that I can uh, put the video on scheduled so I can schedule the video so it just so it so it comes out on time uh because some days I sleep kind of early some days you know like I'll just not be paying attention you know uh so I just schedule it uh which is which is good <laughs> this is just it's just the the least entertaining topic uh how did I even get to that? Uh, yeah, now I schedule the videos, which for for anybody who's been in the Zeke chat for a really long time, I used to actually uh, put the videos up as unlisted and then put a link so that people can watch it early uh, if you're in the Zeke chat. But I don't do that anymore because you can't have an unlisted video that's also scheduled. It's super annoying, but it's just you can't schedule it to go public if it's already like half public, you know, <laughs> you can only schedule a private video. Um, so I just had to stop. Oh shit. These are the wrong teams. Oh shit. 
this might not go very well. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't I don't uh, put a link out anymore. And that's why nobody really misses it, you know. Uh, it's, it's a schedule thing. Um, yeah, I, I got a little distracted there. This is a new tweet. Uh, <laughs> actually, follow follow like. You know, you know that YouTube thing that, where you get a notification after anybody posts a video. I I do that on Twitter now. Whenever whenever uh, two people, two people specifically, uh, MKBHD and the Niskel, uh, I I get a notification every time that they tweet. No particular reason. Um, I think MKBHD, it started because he was doing a giveaway and I wanted to pay attention to it. And then I just got used to it because he posts about, like, really interesting tech things. Uh, and I'm like, oh, all right, cool, you know. Uh, <laughs> and then the Niskel, because I want to be a presence in his life, you know. <laughs> Uh, I think my, my Twitter bio is actually, uh, my one goal in life is to do a video with, uh, at the Niskel, uh, or at, at Niskel, uh, NS, NSCL, uh, cause he's like one of my favorite people just in general. He's a, he's a great dude. Um, just, I love, I love his humor. I love his, like the, the way he approaches things. He, he does anime reviews. Uh, is, is what he does, um, and they're great. I love him. I I do. <laughs> so I want him to be on my video. So I have to. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I have to, but I I'm trying to at least uh, post on a lot of his uh, tweets just so that I'm like there in the back of his mind, and then one day. You know, I'll ask again. I asked before in the past. Because he did, like, an ask me anything kind of thing. And I was just like, will you be in my YouTube show? And he was like, well, let's get to know each other first. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> so now this is me getting to know him uh, and commenting on a lot of his tweets. Not all of his tweets, but the ones where I can actually have an interesting uh, response. But, Yeah. <laughs> Was I talking about thumbnails still? Yeah, so yesterday when I was on the road to pick up that chair that I talked about, uh, I was just like, I'm sitting here in a car. Let's let's do the thing that I need to do. Uh, so I I got out my phone and I edited the, the thumbnails, but like people were talking and I wasn't really paying attention and I, I did the, the gradient wrong. Uh, they all have the default gradient, except the last one. I I noticed on the last one I did, uh, and I changed the, the gradient proper. Uh, but the default gradient is just, uh, it goes, it puts the color on the top, but the one I like, it puts the color on the right. You know, I don't know who's going to actually notice. Maybe now that I point it out, everybody's going to hate it. If somebody actually says that they hate it, I'll go through and fix them all. Um, but whatever. I, I like the splash of color. It's it's neat. Uh, and I like that there's a built-in function for the border thing that, that uh, I had Dave do in the past. It looks a bit different. I think Dave's was solid and mine is fuzzy or the other way around. I don't actually remember. Uh, but when, when Dave was doing it with paint on net, I, th I think he did him fuzzy and now they're solid. Uh, the, the black border around the numbers. Um, it's, I think it's called a stroke, uh, in the, in the editor, in the, the, the PixArt I'm using. PixArt's pretty good. Um, yeah, they call it stroke. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, and I think it's, I usually put it to like 15 or 12 like, and there's no perfection to it. Dave actually, uh, I, I learned this, uh, I never realized it looking at it, but Dave had a system for it. Uh, like he would put the numbers I like in this, in the exact place, according to like this sort of thing. And I don't really do that. I just kind of put them where I think they're supposed to go and call it a day, <laughs> you know? Uh, so that's, you know, like, like if you think it looks 
a little disorganized. Sometimes the numbers are bigger. Sometimes they are. I don't. I don't know why, but it feels like sometimes just just like the numbers are. Some numbers are bigger than the others. Uh, sometimes I actually make them bigger. I think when I'm gonna have guests, um, I'm gonna have no color and make the number really big, just because that's what I did before. Uh, <laughs> it's just, you know. Uh, oh man, <laughs> just, just everything just got derailed in my brain there. I, I've been having a good day though, I guess. You know, I've been doing a little bit of this and that. I watched uh, a movie which I've seen in the past, but I, I really like uh, called. Burn After Reading. It's a very ridiculous movie. Uh, I I especially love the ending. I won't spoil it though, but just the way it ends is fucking fantastic. Um, but it's I don't know. It's just a big mess. It's got it's got a lot of really big name actors though. The acting's really good in it. Uh, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, um, uh, who's a John Malkovich is in there. Uh, the dude who did J. Jonah Jameson, I, I, I don't know his name, but he did J. Jonah Jameson, he's a great, great actor, um, he's in that, how long is this video, <laughs> am I gonna end it, am I gonna end it after, uh, wait, oh, I might just, I might just. No, Burn After Reading, I'm not even going to tell you about it. I'm just going to tell you that it has great actors in it, and it is not for children. <laughs> not not for children. Well, it's a lot of language. Um, I, don't, I don't know if they show any sex, but they make, like, the sex, like, there. You know, it's like, we just had sex, or we're about to have sex kind of thing. But there's a, there's a lot of language in there, which I guess you're used to. I don't think there are many children watching this, which is why I shouldn't do Roblox streams very often, because children are going to come by. <laughs> Oops. I like doing Roblox streams, though. Are we going to Roblox stream tonight? No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something else. Uh, you, though, you take care of yourself.